chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew too i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe shout out to the galactic family the gcvs and of course drew nation bear with me vessels we do have some lawn work being done in the background so if you stick around and enjoy this video like all the other ones i greatly appreciate it so let's get right into it they knew how they were going to come at you. They just never expected how you were going to leave. Let's get right into it. Unfortunately, there are those who take people for granted. And not to say that no one has ever done that. We've all unfortunately been misguided and misdirected and, and devalued and misvalued people, places, you know, we, we misvalued the, the things that were in our life. And you don't want to devalue or misvalue certain things. It's just not a positive thing to do. It's not a good thing to do. But unfortunately, when people are devalued, it creates a certain it's like it, it draws it makes a person have to draw a line in the sand and it makes that person have to choose whether i'm going to stay on this side and allow myself to go through this or am i going to go my separate way and you know not deal with this and it's that's a difficult decision to have to go a separate way because of how a person may be coming at you. And especially when it's someone that you least expect. You may know this person has their little quirks about them, but we all do. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has things about them that are good. Everybody has things about them that's not so good. Doesn't make a person a terrible person doesn't make a person a hard person to be around. But when people just do certain things that are just like unforgivable, and it's forgivable, but it's like unforgivable in the sense of, whoa, I forgive you, but it, it would, it would, it would, I, I would be putting myself into a terrible position to place myself back in your presence. And that's what you have to realize. It's like, yo, if I put myself back in this person's presence, I'm going to have to keep dealing with this. And if this is something that my spirit is telling me to get away from and that I don't have to deal with, that I shouldn't be dealing with, I shouldn't be taking this, I don't have to take this. If this is something that my spirit is telling me to do away with in my life personally, that's the best decision to make. So it's like people know how they're going to come at you but they don't know how you're going to leave. They, they don't expect it. And unfortunately, when we take people for granted, when people get taken for granted, you don't know how that person is going to dip out. You don't know how that person is going to leave. And when people will talk to you any kind of way, when people will do things that are disrespectful, that's a sign to go. That's a sign to leave. You don't let anybody just treat you any kind of way. You, 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 I don't understand why people think that they can do that to other people. But it's them taking advantage of others. It's them... It's them not valuing you. And unfortunately... When people don't value you, their conversation towards you, the things that they may say, the way that they act, they're going to display that. And it's, it's very unfortunate that they choose to act that way, but you aren't going to sit around and just deal with it. It's, it's not something that you are going to accept. It's not, especially if it's something that you didn't expect from someone, it's hard to accept things that you didn't expect. And it's like, 
why would this person why would this person come at you this way and deal with you in such a way it's because this person really doesn't value you like that and you have to make a, a decision when you're being devalued you got to make a decision when somebody is trying to do something in a way to make you feel bad about yourself somebody's do, doing something to try to get underneath your skin or to try to get you to just get into a mood you know and the best thing that you can do in that type of situation is to just cut ties because when people are going to come at you a certain way you got to leave when people are going to disrespect you in a, a certain kind of way you got to leave they didn't know how you were they didn't know how you were going to leave they didn't know how you were going to leave they didn't expect you to leave they think that they could just keep talking to you however they want and treating you however they want and it doesn't necessarily even have to get bad it doesn't it doesn't have to get bad it's not like somebody is yelling at you or screaming at you or that type of thing. It's not always that kind of thing. It's like sometimes it's just subtle things. Sometimes these things are passive aggressive. So even when somebody is being passive aggressive and they're trying to just poke at you and do things covertly or do things low key or try to get off their negativity in an in a undetected way. They don't, they don't expect you to see it. They don't expect you, just like you didn't expect them to behave that way, they don't expect you to see things the way that they're doing it actually. They think that if, oh, if I could do this in a covert way, or if I can do this uh, slightly undetected, or if I can do this low key, I can get off how I feel towards this person without them seeing it or without them taking notice of it. But the thing is, you notice it and you see it and like you have to come to a like what, what people don't realize with people that have been through things, the more that they deal with people who are like this, the less chance and the less opportunity they're going to give people to do these things. So it's like before you would give somebody a chance because, OK, maybe they'll stop. Maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't behave this way. But the more as you, the more you get like a whiff of these kinds of people and their stench, the more you experience these kinds of people and their stinky attitudes, it's like, yo, this is like, it, 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 like you start to pick up on there are just certain people who behave a certain kind of way. And it's really nothing you can do about it. Excuse the noise, y'all. We're making do. Appreciate you sticking with your main man, Drew Two. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. We got wristbands for sale. If you need one, holla at me. I got them for you. E uh, detail, the, hit me in the email and you will receive the details. But the, the thing is, they don't expect you to not take the type of behavior that they're dishing out. They think if they can get away with it, if they can go undetected, if they can do these things without it seeming like a big deal, that it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, well, I just said this, or, oh, well, I just did that. The, the more people do these kinds of things and the more people behave this way, the less likely you're going to deal with people like this in the future. You're not going to want anything to do with these kinds of people. And what makes it hard is, and not really hard, it makes it like, it's, makes, it seems like it's hard, but it ends up being easier, really. Especially when people already know how you are and they act like that on top of it. People will know the type of things that you don't like or people will know if I do this to them, 
this is going to create this type of response or this person that went through this and I'm going to inflict this type of that the same type of damage on them based on what they went through it's like all you're doing like is making it easier for the person to not associate themselves with you you know um you're making it really easy for this person to cut you off and that's really what it's going to come down to your cutoff game is just going to keep getting stronger and better because you're not going to sit around and endure negative behavior and from people and the type of things that you just don't want to experience from people and they think that you have no one else in your life or you have no place else to go or no other job to work at when people think that they've got you or when people think that you need them, that's when the devaluing will start with these types of individuals. Nobody in their, in their right mind, right? And to be a righteous person, you have to be using your right mind and thinking with your right mind. No one with their right mind is going to behave this way in a way to where they're going to do something that someone is not going to like. Someone's not going to appreciate. Someone's not going to want to stay around them. And people will do these kinds of things on purpose. When it's when it's not done on purpose, you can kind of look past it. You could try to have a conversation with people. You could try to talk to them because there are always people who are going to do things that you don't like. You can't necessarily just, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. If you feel that way, then you shouldn't be around that person, number one. If somebody is doing something that you don't like, you shouldn't be around them. But when people are doing things to purposely bother you and it's not like something that just occurs, they're like, yeah, I'm purposely going to do this to this person. Then you have to cut ties with them. There's always going to be people that we're around, unfortunately, that end up doing something we don't like. You're not going to like everything about everyone. Can't just pick and pick and pick and pick and pick. You won't like anybody. <laughs> you know, you won't like and you won't like. Does, does this person like anybody? You don't want to be those kinds of people. And if you are one of those kinds of people, that's all right. You just have some things that you have to work on about yourself. Because if you don't end up, if you keep finding that everybody is the problem, then the problem is not everybody. The problem is you. So, and that's okay. If you're the problem, that's fine. But if there's fault in other people that you keep finding, then you just might not want to associate with those kinds of people. Especially if it's people who are doing things to you to try to get to you. And unfortunately, when people don't get what they want from you or they don't get what they expect from you, instead of them behaving in a, a normal way about it and going about it in a, a way to where they can accept it, unfortunately, people will act petty and they'll do things to upset you and offset your mood. It's just what they'll do. You don't do what I want. I'm going to be petty towards you and I'm going to take that out on you because this is what I expected of you and I'm not getting it from you. So you have to be careful with certain people and you're going to have to continue to improve your cutoff game. Your cutoff game is going to have to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Your cutoff game is is going to have to be like a bodybuilder. You're going to have to be a bodybuilder when it comes to cutting people off. It's going to have to be strong. And in order for you to have a strong cutoff game, there's just going to have to be some things that are always in order, like your finances, certain situations like your, your living situation, your job situation, transportation situation, anything that you could potentially end up having to 
need. You're going to always need to make sure you can take care of that yourself. Because when people see that you're in a time of need, instead of them behaving in a righteous way, helping you, getting you to where you need to go, if that's what they choose to do, unfortunately, there are people who will like help you, but at the same time, they'll curse you because at the, at the end of that help is something that they expect of you. At the end of that help is them trying to control you in some type of way. So you're going to want to make sure, and I know this is just common sense, but for people out there who are working towards improving themselves and somebody may try to offer you something, be careful of what's extended to you or offered to you in terms and in means of help because it usually has something on the other opposite end of it. Usually the things that we get for free end up costing you more in the long run, end up costing you time, end up costing you peace of mind, end up costing you possibly even more finances. Maybe you had something else planned and you're like, oh, okay, someone said I could just do this or someone said I could do that. Let me just take them up on that. And then you end up having to make different decisions with finances and, and time and places and your situation and all these other things that you could have eventually taken care of. But once you are in the midst of somebody else and you have some, you have other things going on, there's going to be things that take place to where you end up thinking, oh, okay, I was going to use this for that. Now I can use it for this. But then you end up having to go back and use what you had for what you had planned originally anyway. So just be careful with accepting help from other people when it comes to what you are planning with your own life. Always, and it's nothing wrong with making certain, um, it's nothing wrong with having to rearrange your plans and replan and redecide certain things, having to make new decisions. But this is why it's always good to take care of your finances and, and things and, and your personal life because you never know how people are going to do you. And that's why they know how they're going to come at you, but they don't they, they don't know how you're going to leave. And you want to be able to leave effortlessly. You want to be able to leave easily when it, things become unfortunate, when friends turn to foes, when people start acting crazy. You know, when people will act one way in the beginning and then you know, a few miles down the road, they want to start acting like a totally different person that you never knew. They want to start showing their true colors to you. They want to start showing their behind to you. When someone goes to show you their behind, make sure it doesn't put you behind. They can show you their behind all they want. But make sure it doesn't put you behind because that's what they want. When you don't do what people want and they start showing their behind, they're going to want that to put you behind in some type of way. That's how things go. So they didn't know how you were going to leave. They didn't know how you were going to leave. They thought you needed them. Never need someone to the point to where you're unable to take care of things yourself. Don't need people like that. Don't put yourself in a position to need people like that. This is why it's always good to take care of yourself and always good to do things for yourself and always focus on being as dependent on yourself as you possibly can. You don't want to be dependent upon nobody else. And the, the good thing is to know is that you don't need nobody else. All you need is God. So even when things are even when things are kind of scary, and even when you don't know how things are going to work out, if you trust in the universe, and if you align yourself with the universe, and if you'll pray about your situation, things will always work out for the best. People may try to waste your time. People may try to get in get in the way of your progress. When they see you trying to do certain things, they see you trying to level up, they see you trying to move forward, they see you trying to get ahead, and 
they may not care about that as much as you do. They may even try to throw you off. Oh yeah, I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, let me uh, assist you. Let me help you out. I know, I know what you need. But on the other, on the other end of that, is is hell. It's like <laughs> on the other end of that is possibly some some toxicity, some negativity, and you don't want to get caught up in that because if you do, it will waste your time. They see you have an agenda, but they want you to get caught up in their agenda because they see that you. Are they are in need of some things? So even if you are in need of some things, be able to take care of them yourself. Because you never know how people are going to come at you when they think you need them. For whatever reason, people like to switch up. And once they see that you need them, they start getting these ideas. You never know what a person's mind is capable of. And this is why it's good. Even when somebody is helping you to put your trust in God and not put your trust in man, man will always change. God is the same today, yesterday, thereafter, in the future. God's always going to be the same. God's not going to change. Christ is not going to change. So make sure that you always put your faith in yourself. Make sure you always put your trust and faith in your own mind. Make sure you always put your trust and faith and belief in you. You know you can rely on you. You know you're not going to change unless you change. You know I mean, it, it, like you can expect a change coming from you because it's your mind. You don't know what other people are thinking. All you know is what you're thinking. You're the same today, yesterday, and thereafter. You know what you're up to. You know what's what, what's on your mind. You know what you have planned for you. But when you put yourself in a position to have to rely on other people, you never know what can happen. People will say that they want to do this. People will say that they want to do that. And then they see you start to get ahead. They see you start to actually make some kind of way for yourself. Or they see you getting out of that situation that involves them helping you a little bit sooner than they expect it, or they start to see how you really operate. They start to see how you're planning things out, how you're moving forward, type of goals you're setting for yourself, and they start to feel some type of way about that. They start to get jealous, or they start to get angry because they're not able to do that for themselves. They're not able to move as fast. They're not able to get ahead as quick. They're not able to come up on opportunities like you are. They don't see themselves as, as being as blessed as you. Unfortunately, if they did, they get some blessings, but they don't see themselves as being that blessed. They don't probably believe in that kind of stuff, that good things can happen to them. So when they start seeing good things happen to you, all they did is expect you to get this little help from them and that was it. They didn't know that they were going to have to see you come up. They thought that they were just going to help you, th throwing their whole blessing away in the trash throwing all the good things that were going to come to them as a result of being an aid to you in the trash. Not knowing that something good was going to come to them for being there for you in this time of need. Just threw it all in the trash. They could have possibly even hit the lottery for helping you. Who knows? They threw it in the trash. They didn't. They knew how they were going to come at you. They knew how they were going to come at you. Start seeing how you move. Start seeing how things were working out for you. They started feeling sideways about it. Started thinking certain things because if they're not doing anything, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. All they're going to be doing is monitoring you and watching you. Oh, that's how they do that. Or, oh, that's what they're trying to do. Or, oh, that's what they're doing. Or, that's what they're up to. When, when you're up to something... And you're motivated and you and, and somebody unfortunately may not be. They could potentially feel some type of way about that. And that help that they're trying to that that thing that they were going to do for you that once came into your into your world, into your reality as a as a as help might now turn into hurt. Their help might end up turning into hurt. 
It just it's just the way it goes. Sometimes people start off as helping you and they end up hurting you. <laughs> they end up trying to cause some hurt instead of trying to cause some help. They knew how they were going to come at you. They just never expected how you were going to leave. You were going to leave winning regardless. You were going to leave on top regardless. They thought that if you didn't get help from them, you wouldn't end up getting anywhere. They thought that if you didn't get help from them, you wouldn't end up being successful. They thought you'd be out on your own. They thought you'd be screwed. They thought, they thought you wouldn't have no place to go or wouldn't be able to do anything for yourself. They didn't know that they didn't know what you had planned. They didn't know you had plans. They didn't know you had a plan. You always got to have a backup. They didn't know that you were thinking 10 steps ahead. They didn't know that you were thinking a step ahead. They had no idea that you were going to be able to end up how you ended up. They had no idea. They didn't know that regardless of even if you chose to plan anything, that God would always have your back and that things will always turn out right for you because the universe always has your back. But it's always good to plan and it's always good to be scheming for, it's always good to be scheming for a positive reason because you never know. You never know what could possibly happen. And I know you already know this. I know this is common sense. But there are some people who see that you're doing something and they'll act like they want to be a part of it. Some people will actually want to be a part of what you're doing and they'll actually want to help you and see things work out well for you. That's a very positive case and a very positive situation. And that, that person is a blessing and they see that you're working towards greater things and they were once where you were and they want to see you get to your destination. There are actually people out there who are coming like you're coming. They're coming in the sense of positivity. They're coming in the sense of this person is doing something. I see where they're going. I see what they want to do. I want to be a part of it in a, in a positive way. There's people who are actually out there like that. But then you'll have people who will say that they want to help you just so they could try to get something from it. And here's the thing. People will help you to get something from it. But it's in a way where it's going to benefit them and you. That's called business. When someone's trying and, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. They don't try to bring you down some kind of way or, or um, come at you crazy because of it. If you hold up, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. They go their separate way, they, even if they feel some type of way about it. But when things don't work out as somebody expected and they end up trying to attack you some kind of way because of it, they knew how they were going to come at you. People who help you and want to help you, they know how they're going to come at you. I'm going to help this person. If it works out, cool. If it doesn't work out, hey, I tried. We tried. It just didn't work out. But when people know how they're going to come at you in a in an evil way, in a negative way, they know that they're eventually going to switch up on you. This isn't something that they just pulled up like a, a magic trick. They didn't just pull a rabbit out of a hat and just say, oh, I'm switching up on this person. They knew that in their mind the whole entire time that if this didn't go how they wanted it to go, they was going to switch up on you and start acting ugly. They knew they was going to start acting ugly. They knew that. This this isn't this isn't something that they just was this just thought of just a second. You know what? I'm gonna act this way right now. They been knew that if you didn't, uh, if, if they knew that if you didn't come the way they wanted you to come. They were going to come at you a specific way to where it wasn't going to turn out well for you. And it's unfortunate when things happen like that. But the one thing that people come at you crazy don't expect is how you're going to leave. They have in their mind that you need them, that they're all you got, and that you don't have anything else. Some people who help you really honestly think that this is all you've got. And there's nothing else out there for you. But what they don't expect is 
for you to leave how you leave. And you left like a champ. Because you're the type of person that takes care of your business. And you're not going to put yourself in a situation or in a position to where you need people more. You, you rely on people more than you could rely on yourself. And that's why you don't do that. They knew how they were going to come at you. They just never expected how you were going to leave. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. It's been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. Peace, love, and light. We out.